Hi everybody, thanks for joining us for another Minecraft video. In this instance, we are going to show you a video of how we're going to start a brand new world. Uh, so this is Scott, I'm here with Josh. Hi guys! And um, we decided that we wanted to build a city world, but it may not just be city stuff. So we wanted to make sure that we had enough room in our city to do a bunch of different things. If we wanted to build a zoo, or an amusement park, or just something crazy, we want to make sure that we had enough room. So we had a little discussion about what kind of world we wanted, and we decided the best thing to do would be to combine beach to build a... Like a, like a boardwalk yeah, area. You were, that's all you've been talking about, and then you can't remember what it I is. I haven't been talking about that. Uh, we time. want to build a river because we think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. And then we want a little bit of a mountainous area. So it'll give us sort of three different things that, that we can have. So we thought we would have the beach going around all sides. Yeah. Uh, we would have a pretty fairly wide river. And then on one side of the river, we would put some mountains to give us a little bit of building variety opportunity. Yeah. So we spent some time trying to find those worlds. And I think we've tried to do this. What have you said? I've restarted like 78 times. 78 times. <laughs> uh, I think we finally have what we want to do. So yeah. Uh, what we realized is we can't do this in Minecraft. So we're going to use a program called World Painter. I'll put a link in the description. There are better tutorials than this. what this will show you today. This isn't a World Painter tutorial, but uh, some of the World Painter tutorials tend to go into too much detail. We're going to keep it pretty simple, give you just what you need to get a nice world started. Yeah. And this will be our world. So yes. this is the Create New World screen. You'll see I've already typed in a name. Uh, this uh, dimensions gives you an opportunity to set how many blocks you want your world to be. We want a very, very large area to work in. So we're actually going to have it be 4,000 blocks by 4,000 blocks. Can't make it exactly 4,000 blocks because of how uh, the program works. So we're going to make it 4,096 by 4,096. We are going to choose a flat land. Yeah. Uh, we don't want any beaches and in fact it doesn't really even matter. And to make sure that we don't have to uh, knock down any flowers or grass, we're going to pick bare grass. And that is all we're going to do on this screen. Yeah. So in this case I'm going to click create and what you'll see is a nice big square but oh uh, nuts. Uh, you have the rest of the world that has generated around it. That bothers me. Does it yes. bother you? Okay. Because so, all the islands connect to the yeah, big Yeah, so pretty square. annoying, I think. So yeah. we are going to go into Dimension Properties, and we are going to change the border to Water. Uh, we will give it an endless border, and we will hit OK and instantly clean it up. Yeah. So, what should we do first? Beach? A beach. Let's do the beach. So, uh, as you'll see in the top left, lots of different options for tools. In this case, all we care about is the spray paint. On the right hand side, you'll see that there are some intensity options. If you have it on less than 100%, you will see as you choose sand that it will not fill it in all the way. Yeah. I recommend if you want something solid, change to 100%. Should we do a square or round for our beach? Border. Uh, round. Okay, so we'll choose over here round brush. I'm going to go fairly large, so I'm using my mouse wheel to change the size of the circle. Uh, let's go about this, and in this case we are simply going to left click and we are going to come around the edges to give us our sand border. Uh, I do not have the best PC. We are also working on quite a large number of blocks at a time, uh, so it is not painting invisibly. Uh, it will actually catch up with us in a minute or so. So I'm taking the beach all the way around. Yeah. I have found sometimes what will happen is if I choose another program or I minimize and bring it back up that it will catch up but in this case it hasn't. Trust me it will fill in. So now we have our nice beach border. That's I think our next step is to do the river. Yeah. So we're going to choose a different option this time from our tools. In this case, there's this height option with the raise and lower. So we're going to choose that. And I like plateau because I like that it sort of builds itself down gradually, almost like a triangle. 
The raise and lower is very simple. Left click will raise your land and right click will lower your land. So in the case of trying to do a river, what are we going to do? We want to make it lower. Correct. So we're going to right click. Uh, in I'm going to stick with a circle, but this time I'm going to switch over to a plateau circle. Uh, this seems a little bit too... Well, let's go for consistency and leave it the same. We'll have a fairly wide river. That'll give us some options if we want to do an island in the middle, put a yacht in there, nice big bridge, that'll give us some options. So in this case, I'm going to build a little bit of a windy river. The trick to this is the uh, longer you hold your mouse button down, the deeper the cut will be into the ground. So if you want a nice shallow river, you want to move fairly quickly. If you want a deeper river, move fairly slowly. So in this case, I think we're going to go deeper river. Yeah, we so I'm going to move deeper. fairly slow through the terrain. So I'm going to begin with right clicking and I'm going to cut up through here in a little bit of a squiggly fashion. I'm a little bit worried that I'm doing a good job but I'm going to trust my instincts that this will look good and hopefully World Painter will catch up to us. Yeah. I it's think what I'm actually going to do is pause us here for a second and we'll be back in one minute. Hey guys, we're back and we're ready to build the mountains. Yep, yeah, so we zoomed in a little bit just so you can see what this looks like. So we've made a little bit of a twisty river. We are going to put the mountains, I believe, on the right-hand side. Yes. Uh, so we are going to go with a plateau square and we are going to switch back to the bare grass. Uh, as I mentioned before, the longer you hold down and the slower you go, the higher the mountains will be. So I think what we want to do is we want a fairly high plateaued mountain at the top. And then as we contour down, we'll get a little bit lower. This will give us an yes. opportunity to build into the mountainside on the northern side and just have a little bit of variety at the southern side. I suspect this will lag again. Yes. So we may have to pause, but we'll see. So I'm going to simply trace around. I am intentionally not going quite next to the river to give us an opportunity for some flat land um, if we want on the right hand side of that river on the eastern side. Now I am going to move a little bit faster as we finish this off. It's loading quicker. Yeah, a little bit quicker. I think the most interesting thing will be when we take a quick test of our world and see how this works out. Yes. So the last thing that we need to do, and we can actually do this while the world is generating, is we just need to export our world so that we are able to use it directly in Minecraft. Uh, so just to recap before we did, did this, we created a 4K by 4K square world, bounded it by ocean, put beach around the side, quick river down the middle, plateaus on the right hand side. We have That gives us a lot of different variety for our building. We got space for the boardwalk, we got bridge space, we got flat city area, we got cool mountainous area. Uh, I'm kind of interested how this will turn out. So uh, let's do the export. So we got file, export, export as a new Minecraft map. Uh, this screen should look similar to the dimension properties. We have our where we're going to save it, what the name of it's going to be, we're going to bound it by water, we want it to be endless, we're using 1.10 and above uh, map format. While we're in it, let's change it to peaceful so we don't have to change that later. We are going to hit export and this will take us probably four to five minutes on our PC. So we'll take one more break and we will be back. All right, we are back and as you can see, our export is done. It took about way longer than we thought. I think it was 15 minutes or something crazy like that. Yeah. As you can see, the, the size of the map is pretty big too. But what I thought was interesting is it generated uh, like 4 billion blocks. So that seems about right that it would take that long. Anyway, yeah. uh, we just hit OK. And here is what our final map will look like. You can see, I believe we're going to get a nice flat plateau uh, up at the top. But Let's stop talking and let's see what's up in Minecraft. So we're going to go single player. We're going to pull up our world. Let's see what we got. It should look good from up above. It should. 
Oh, we spawned on the mountain. We did definitely spawn on the mountain. So let's see. Whoa, that's huge. It is. So we got a nice flat area down here. We'll do a quick turnaround in a second. There's the... So we have our river. Let's see how deep it is. Jeez, that's pretty deep. Seems fairly deep. Let's uh, get a little speed going here. There's lots of squids. Lots of squids. Uh, that definitely seems deep enough. So now let's head back. See, I like how this gives you a kind of a shoreline. Yeah. So it doesn't just drastically go right in. On the map, I thought that this would have been a lot smaller than it actually yep. was. So that gives us a nice flat area. So we're going to come back across. Check out our friendly neighborhood squids again. <laughs> so something I did not know. I used to always double tap to try to go fast until I learned that you can just hit the control key. From me. Yes. Ooh, well, I that gives us a nice dramatic slope yes. here. I still use wow, the double tap. That's really steep. That is, but that is going to give us an opportunity to build some really awesome In the uh, mountain houses buildings. and other things right inside that mountain. And so we I'm have pretty, a challenge to try to build a building higher than the mountain. Uh, I don't know. We're up over, yikes. What is the max height you can be at? I have no idea. Uh, we're getting up to... Oh, it reached the top. Yeah. But gives us a nice... 250. Gives us we're 277. Uh, oh, that's where you're flying. Yeah. So uh, I think this will give us a nice plateau area as well. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this map. Yes. Uh, I know... Wait, go check out the beach. You want to check out the beach? Yeah, let's go check out the beach so right. everybody can see I'm it. I'm going to take a guess. So we're using Journey Map here, which is a mod I always use. Uh, I don't know how far we're going to have to go. So I'm going to take a guess. And we're just going to see if we can teleport uh, to that location. Are we out of the world? Yeah, I think. Could be. I'm going to stop. Oh, it's right there. Hmm. Oh, you're okay. So let us. Uh, Let's we'll, just go over we'll, to the we'll beach. We'll go. Instead. We'll go for a little bit. If this gets to be uh, too long, we will stop. Yeah. But we have to check out the beach. The beach is the best part. This is a uh, very large beach. Yeah. And it ends. <laughs> Ooh. A pretty dramatic drop. Drop. We don't like that. We definitely do not like that. So, that is a good lesson for what we don't like. Yeah. And we'll say that we did this intentionally, uh, and there is a pretty easy fix for this. Although, this gives us quite a long beach area, which I think will, will be pretty good. So, yeah. On the assumption that we did that on purpose, yes, to show what happens if you don't spend a little bit of extra time in World Edit, what we're going to do, or excuse me, in World Painter, not World Edit, is we're going to come back to our map. And as you can see, this is pretty squared off. So we're going to try a trick. We'll see if this works. I am going to take my plateau square, and I am going to take my raise and lower button. And I am going to come along the sides, and I am going to try to lower the land. And we will see what happens. So I'm going to come through here. It's like it's just cutting it off. Yes, and I'm going to draw along the edge. We have a long enough beach, as we could see as we flew past. That cutting a little bit off the edge should not actually make a difference. Uh, so as you can see, I'm simply plateauing all along the edge. And this is what I really love about uh, Minecraft, is no matter what you think you know, you don't know. 
and things are usually pretty easy to fix. Yeah. So what we do not want is for all of you to be bored for 15 minutes because we are not that entertaining while we export this again. So we're going to pause for the last time and we'll bring you back into the world. Alright guys, we're back and we're getting ready to see what we just did to the beach shore. Because honestly, if we screwed this up again, yeah, we may just give up. Yeah. Alright, so let's run to the beach, run to the beach, run to the beach. Looks like on the map Do it worked. Do we work. have a fall off? Yay, Excellent. it worked. Probably a little steep, but... Considering we're not world painter experts. Yes. Don't really intend to be. Uh, I think this actually looks pretty good. Yeah. So this will give us some nice curvature uh, along the edges. This, boy, uh, we, we definitely have enough land to be able to build what we want to build. So yes. thanks for watching this introductory video. We look forward to putting some more videos out there as we build our world. Uh, and we'll talk to you again next time. See you guys.